Hello everyone, welcome to Collaboration Coach. It's Matt, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to automatically move files from OneDrive to Google Drive using Power Automate and Flow. I'm going to set up a sync between a folder in OneDrive and a folder in Google Drive. In my OneDrive, I've created a folder called Google Drive Sync, and that's in the file section of OneDrive. And if I switch tabs here, you can see in Google Drive, I have a folder called OneDrive Sync. Both of these are empty for now. Now I need to open Power Automate by going to the App Launcher. To create this flow, we're going to use a template. So I'll go to the Templates button on the left-hand side. I can use the search to find the template I'm after, and I'll type in the keywords Google Drive OneDrive for Business. I'll choose the template called Sync OneDrive for Business to Google Drive Files. And when I do that, it'll ask me to connect to OneDrive for Business and Google Drive. I choose the plus next to OneDrive for Business, and because I'm already logged into Office 365, it should just see my account. When I see a tick next to the account name, I know that I'm connected. I can also see which permissions Flo will use by clicking the permissions link. Now I need to do the same for Google Drive. So I click the plus next to the Google Drive icon and then I choose the account that I want to connect with. Because I'm already logged in with this account, I can choose it and it will connect. There is a warning here letting me know that the power platform that Flo is part of will have some permissions within my Google Drive, like edit, create, and delete. I have to allow access to Google Drive to continue, so I just need to press the allow button. Once I see green ticks for both connections, I can continue. When the flow opens up, I see two blocks, one for OneDrive, one for Google Drive. OneDrive is the trigger and Google Drive is the action. The only thing we need to add to both blocks is the folder that we want to copy from and to. So in the OneDrive block, I'll come to the folder field, choose the folder icon, and then drill down until I find the Google Drive sync folder. In the Google Drive block, there are three fields. One is for the folder path, and the other two are for the file name and the file content. Flow will take the file name and the content from the OneDrive file and use it to create the Google Drive file. This flow will run for every file that gets added to OneDrive. All I need to do here is go to the folder icon in the folder path field and then choose the OneDrive sync folder. And that's it, the flow is ready to go, I just need to save it. If I choose the back arrow at the top left corner of my flow, it will take me to the profile page. From here I can see the flow details, what connections were made, and what runs were made. Right now you can see there are no runs, so we need to add some files to OneDrive to test the flow. I'll go to OneDrive and create an empty Excel sheet and a Word document. Now I'm going back to the flow and I'm gonna watch the runs part of the profile page to make sure that it runs correctly. I can use the refresh button to refresh the history. After a few minutes, there'll be one run for each file listed in the history. If the runs are successful, I can open them up and there will be a tick next to the trigger and the action blocks. Finally, I can go to Google Drive and make sure that the files are there. So there you go. That's how you use Flow and Power Automate to move files from OneDrive to Google Drive. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.